The Bernstein Bears and too much junk food. Healthy food is good for brother, sis, and dad. How can mom make them stop eating food that's bad? Bear country where the bear family lived in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road was a happy place and a healthy place. There were lots of cozy nooks and comfortable trees for the bear country folk to live in. And the weather was good most of the time. And best of all, there was plenty of good healthy food, worms and seeds for the birds, nuts and acorns for the squirrels, grass and dandelions for the rabbits, more than enough flies for the frogs, plenty of good nourishing food for the bears, honey of course, but more important, lots of fruits and vegetables, milk, fish and fowl. The trouble was that certain bears, brother and sister, had gotten into the bad habit of eating not so healthy foods when watching TV, at the movies, and the mall. In fact, it began to seem to Mama Bear that any time was snack time. At first, she hadn't paid much attention, but then one day when the cubs were raiding the pantry, Mama noticed something. The cubs were getting a little chubby. She took a closer look just to be sure. Yes, they were chubbier from the side, they were chubbier from the front, and they were chubbier from the back. Well, there's no question about it. Brother and sister, we're going to have to stop eating all that junk food. But Mama, they protested, we're growing bears and we need those snacks. You're growing all right, said Mama. The trouble is you're growing from side to side as much as you are up and down. Sometimes cubs get into bad habits and you've gotten into the habit of eating altogether too many sweets and goodies. We're going to have to get back to, to eating healthy nourishing food. She gathered up all the goodies in one big load. Mama cried sister, what are you doing? You're not going to throw them away, cried brother. No, we're going to put them in the freezer and forget about them. She said, then there's no arguing. That's right, agreed Papa, coming in from his shop. There's no use arguing with your mother when she's made up her mind. Then, looking in the refrigerator, he said, Oh dear, we're out of Sweet Sea Cola. Let's be sure to get some next time we're at the supermarket. Our Sweet Sea Cola days are over, said Mama, as she pushed all the goodies in the freezer. Two packages fell to the floor. Say, shouted Papa, what are you going to do with my sugar balls and choo-choo tums? They're going to... They're going in the freezer and we're going to forget about them, cried brother. We're going to eat healthy, nourishing food instead. Just a minute, said Papa, but as he leaned over to pick up his precious goodies, there was a rip. Papa's snack habits had caught up to him too, and he had split the seat of his overalls wide open. What sort of healthy, nourishing food, Papa asked Mama as she sewed up his overalls. Vegetables right out of our garden, of course, and fruit from our orchard. And what are we supposed to drink, asked Papa. Try this, she said. It's called water. The next day, the Bear family went to the supermarket to buy some sensible food for the pantry. Mama pushed right past the sweets and goodies and stocked up on whole grain bread and cereal and fresh milk and cheese. Then she chose some fine-looking oranges and bananas, the two fruits that didn't grow in her orchard. While she was waiting in the checkout line, some, someone said, I'm glad to see that cartload of nutritious food, Mama Bear. It was Dr. Grizzly, the bear's family doctor. You must believe in good food for a healthy body. I certainly do, said Mama, but I'm not sure about the rest of my family. Dr. Grizzly took a good look at Papa and the cubs. Hmm, she said, I see what you mean. They look like they could use a, a little professional advice. Stop by my office tomorrow, please. The cubs were nervous when they all arrived at the doctor's office the next day. Do you think they'll, she'll give us some sort of shot? They wanted to know. I don't think so, said Mama. But with Dr. Grizzly, you never know. Step in here, please, said Dr. Grizzly. Oh boy, movies, said the cubs when they saw a projector screen. Not exactly, said the doctor as they turned off the lights. We're going to have a little slideshow. About what, asked the cubs. You'll see, she said, and started the show. This is what your body looks like from the outside. This is what your body looks like from the inside. Wow, said the cubs. 
Our bodies are marvelous systems of parts and organs, and it's these parts working together that let us do all the wonderful things we can do. Climb mountains, sing songs, hit home runs, ride bikes. It's a number of systems, really. A system of nerves that let us feel and think. A system that keeps the blood flowing through our body. A system of muscles and bones that let us, that let us move and give us strength. And a system for food that let us take in nourishment and give us energy and keeps all the other health systems healthy. The last slideshow showed different kinds of food and told how they helped the body. Papa looked for sugar balls and choo-choo chums, but they were nowhere to be seen. Now, said Dr. Grizzly, turning on the lights, I'll do my best to keep you healthy if you promise to eat your part. Promise to do your part by eating the right foods. We promise, said brother. But sister had a question. What about the sweets and goodies? What harm do they do? Most of them answered the doctor aren't very nourishing instead helping the body build up build and strengthen our bodies they just pile up extra fat like this she took a pinch of papa's waist and got quite a handful ouch said papa and even worse they fill you up so you're not hungry for the food your body really needs and just as the bears were leaving just me, she added uh oh a shot, thought the cubs, but that wasn't his, uh, it at all. The exercise called the doctor. An exercise program is important for good health, too, and it will work off those extra inches. Well, said brother, there's no time like right now. Let's jog home, and off the cubs went with Papa puffing behind. At first, it was a little strange eating just good, healthy food. For a while, they could almost taste the sugar balls and choo-choo chums. They, were, they weren't snacking on, but Mama was always ready with healthy goodies. Apple slices for TV, nuts and raisins for the movies, frozen yogurt at the mall, and crisp, crunchy carrot just about any time. The bears started a family jogging exercise program, so when the Bear Country 3 Mile was announced, they were all slimmed down and ready. Though they didn't win, they didn't come in last either, not even Papa. They won a prize for being the only family to finish the whole race. They were all excited and proud, especially Papa. I know what, he said. Let's celebrate, opening up the freezer and have a carrot stick, interrupted brother. And some nuts and raisins, added sister. And Papa did.